Hey everyone, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a bodyweight cardio workout. There's no equipment required for this routine. But for a little extra added resistance, you may want to add a couple of water bottles or light hand weights. Follow me for the standard moves. And follow me for the easier modifications. All right, let's get going. Let's go. All right, we're getting started with our warm up. First, we're gonna do a posterior swing to calf raise. This gives will get those feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees, both hands together. Drive your hips back, slight bend the knees as we throw those arms between our legs and then come all the way up and calf raise up onto the balls of our feet. Go ahead and repeat, keep that back straight on this one. It's all about that hip hinge in your posterior chain. So we have that slight bend in the knees and then you're driving your hips back as you bend over. Keep your back straight, core tight on this one. Great active stretch for that posterior chain, lower back, hamstrings and glutes. Making sure to breathe on this one. And again, this is just the warm up, so we're moving at a warm up pace. There will be plenty of time coming up to burn it out. Right now, we just wanna increase that overall body temperature and get your muscles warmed up. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, shake it out. We're gonna move to the floor into a high plank position, moving into a multi-planar lunge. So let's go ahead and come on up on the balls of your feet and your hands. And we're gonna step your right foot up by your right hand the best you can. Go and take that right hand, reach it through, rotate, and then come back, reach up and look at that hand. So rotating through every time and then looking up. This is a great mobility drill for your thoracic spine. Getting some hip flexors, some quad, some core, shoulder, a lot of different muscles getting warmed up on this one. Reaching through every time, making sure you're getting that rotation at your core and breathe let's go ahead and continue this one for five four three two one zero all right go ahead and step back with your right foot and then step up with your left foot same thing just going on the opposite side now right into it keep your back straight core nice and tight on this one Nice controlled movements. And we are breathing. It's a good time here in the warm up to start focusing on what brought you here today to begin with. We're gonna hold on to that goal throughout today's workout. That's gonna be the main motivator and driver that gets you through. Here we are for five, four, three, two, one, zero, and come back up onto your feet. Last one on the warm up here is a little combo move. We're gonna do a march in place, and at the same time, we're gonna do an upright external rotation. So those elbows are at a 90 degree angle, and we're rotating, pulling back on those hands. Ideally, we're getting those knees up, thighs up, until they're about parallel to the ground. Doing the best you can on this one. It's a great one to warm up those shoulders and rotator cuffs before we get into it here. Excellent, keep breathing, keep moving. Getting that heart rate up just a little bit here. Not getting too crazy though. And we just wanna to emphasize today that you make this workout your own. We're not gonna count any repetitions, so it's just about getting as many reps in as you can in a lot of time period. And five, 
four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Shake those arms loose. Let's go. Claudia is ready. ready to go. I hope you are too. All right, we're going to get started with a one, two, three, four. We're going to get that heart rate up quickly. So this one's pretty simple. We're just stepping forward, one, two, stepping back, three, four. We want you to pretend like you have a line or a crack and you're just stepping over it and stepping back every time, going as fast as you can. Hot feet, hot feet. Light touches on the balls of the feet, keeping those knees bent. Hot feet, hot feet. And again, just making this your own, going as fast as you can. Come on. Everything you got right here. It's a quick 30 second set. Go, 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 go. Come on. Making sure to breathe. Stand light on those balls of the feet. Go in five, four, three, two, one, and break. Okay, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna pick up our light dumbbells or Claudia's got her water bottles for this next one. You decide that's right for you. Feet your shoulder width apart. We're gonna pull back on the elbows and now we're gonna get into a seesaw row. Alternate that right and left arm. As Soon as you get into position, just begin. Pull back on those elbows. Back stays straight, head is in line with your spine. Keeping your core nice and tight. And just move, keep pulling, come on. Big power, big power. Today's workout isn't about using a lot of weight, it's about speed and power, come on. In five, four, three, two, one, break. All right, awesome. Whew. Keeping the weights for the next one. Feet are gonna be in a staggered stance, one leg back, one arm up, that same arm of the leg that's back. We're gonna pull down, elbow to knee, crunching those abs on every rep. That's right, we're gonna do 30 seconds each side. Pull down, squeeze those abs, reach up high, making sure to step back every time. Keep a slight bend in that lead leg knee. You wanna have that leg locked out. And again, we're just getting as many as we can. Keep it pumping. Woo. If you need to adjust your weight and use more or use less, feel free to do so at any time. In five, four, three, two, one, switch sides. All right. Same move, opposite side, now right into it. Come on, everything you got right here. These moves are really just about you and your ability to push yourself and your intensity. If you wanna ease your way through it, that's up to you. But with this move, it's all about pushing yourself, getting as many in as you can. Let's go, come on. We're right there with you. That's right, burning with you, here we go. Keep it moving, Hasfit Tribe, where you at, where you at? Come on, nice and light on the ball of your feet on that touch In back. Five, four, three, two, one, break. All right, hand weights are down for the next one. Moving into a footwork drill. We're gonna do a juke move. One foot stays in the center and we're gonna replace that foot as we hop side to side. Weight back in your hips, slight bend in those knees. Go ahead and channel your inner football, soccer, basketball, insert your favorite sport player. And we're just going side to side right here. Nice and quick, light on those feet. And again, you're making this workout your own by the intensity that you're keeping. It's only a 30 second set. Everything you got right here. Put it all out there every set. And five, four, three, two, one, Zero. Okay, we're gonna need our hand weights for the next one. I'm gonna do a switch jump. Claudia's gonna do a slightly lower impact move called the step back. I'm staying light on the balls of my feet and hopping and switching these legs. Ooh, and I'm doing a step back motion and I'm using the exact same arm and just bringing it right back up. Ooh. Get that opposite arm and leg working together. Elbows are bent at a 90 degree angle. It's a total body move. Keep it going. Again, pick whichever version is best for you and work at your own pace. And if you gotta split it, maybe do half the time in one version, half on yeah. the other, that's all right too. Totally. Just encourage you to make this routine your own. All right, here we go in five, four, three, two, one, break. Excellent. All right, we're gonna burn out those shoulders next. Go ahead and get with your feet shoulder width apart, using your hand weights, bring them up to rack position. We're gonna press one arm at a time in a seesaw shoulder press. Straight up, straight down. Again, this is all about speed, not about using a lot of weight on this one. Just getting that heart rate up 
And we're moving. Let's go. Come on. Using good posture, keeping your core nice and tight, and remembering to breathe through the movement. That's it. Keep those little slight bend in your knees along the way. Good posture. You got it. Come on. Driving them, driving them, driving them straight up. What do you got right here? Pushing yourself because nobody else can or will do it for you. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, break. All right, we got a little combo Ooh. move next. It's your feet shoulder width apart to start. Hands are up at your chin. We're, I'm going to punch plus kick. And I'm going to punch plus knee raise. So bringing my knee up to parallel to the ground or as best as you can. We're going opposite arm and leg are working together. I'm basically starting with that knee raise where I'm bringing my knee up, but then I'm extending and finishing with the kick. On that punch, we're extending that arm all the way out and bringing it back to our chin in between every rep. Keep your core nice and tight. It actually really helps you stabilize the movement and helps you keep your balance. And as you get more familiar with the move, you can pick up the pace. That's right. Come on, what you got? Here it is, put it all out there. Whew. Again, you choose which variation's right for you. Five seconds left. Five, Not much left. Four, three, two, one, break. Excellent, okay, we're moving right into a faux jump rope. So uh, lighting on the balls of our feet, performing little circular motions with our wrists, just like we're doing a normal jump rope. Small, tight circles with those wrists and forearms staying light on the balls of our feet. Ideally, we're not getting any heel contact on this jump rope. If you, if you need to, feel free to do so, but working towards keeping those heels up. You're a bouncy ball, not a rock. That's Coach it. Coach Hart gets to say. That's right. Whew. If you got neighbors underneath you, we don't want them to hear you. Returning that energy back into the ground, not just being big and Here we heavy. go, we got five, four, three, two, one, break. All right, keeping those hand weights, we're going to an Whew. upper body move. Feet are shoulder width apart, bent over on a 45 degree angle. We're going to perform a bent over swing. Keeping those palms down, arms are straight. Swinging at the shoulder, bringing those arms up until they're parallel to our bodies. All the way up, all the way down. Head stays in line with your spine. Slight bend in the knees, weights back in your hips. So that means you probably are going to feel it in your legs a little bit on this one too. That's right. Fast arms, get them going, come on. Again, Ooh. not about that weight, it's about that speed. What you got right here? Proving it to yourself. You have about 10 seconds left, guys. Let's go, push it. You got it. Almost there, almost there, almost there. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, hand weights are down. I'm moving into a traditional skater. And I'm gonna move into a more low impact skater. So I'm actually jumping side to side. And I'm actually moving from side to side and I'm bringing my leg backwards behind me. Where I'm hopping laterally, landing on the ball of my foot and then heading right in that opposite direction. Just go at your own pace. Come on guys, what do you got right here? Pick up that pace, Hasbro Tribe. What brought you here today? What are we working on? You're about halfway through guys, here we go. Think about it, why are you here? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Everything you got. Speed, speed, speed. And five, four, three, two, one, break. Ah, excellent. We're moving to the floor for the next one. No weights required. I'm getting to a high plank position off of my feet. And I'm getting on a high plank position to my knees. We're gonna walk side to side. I'm walking with both my feet and my hands. And I'm actually just doing a plank side to side. But both of us are being sure to keep our back straight, core nice and tight, head is in line with our spine, keep a slight bend in those elbows, and abs stay tight the That's whole time. Right, keep your core nice and tight through the entire movement. Breathe, it's very easy to hold your breath and forget about breathing when you're up in these plank positions. So really make a focus to stay breathing throughout. Good, you got it, you got it. Keep pushing, guys, keep pushing. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're up on our feet for the next one. You are gonna need your hand weights. We're moving into a Nordic skier, so 
We're gonna be in a staggered stance, one leg back. We're gonna have that same side arm up, opposite arm back and straight. We're gonna bring one knee up as we alternate, performing a front arm raise. Get that core tight, back stays straight, and feel that push pull happening with your arms and with that knee as you drive it on up. Work at your own pace. We're gonna do 30 seconds for each side. This is a great total body movement. It's also a great standing abs exercise. Really hitting that core without moving to the floor. Breathe. Bring that knee nice and up. Get a nice contraction and, five, and crunch. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides. All right, same move. Opposite side now. Woo. Right into it, no breast. Come on, you got it. Everything you got right here, guys. Let's go, Hasfit Tribe. Put it all out there. It's not about being perfect. It's about showing up, putting in the work, and getting a little bit better every workout. That's right, being consistent. That's it, trust in the process. In five, four, three, two, one, break. All right, hand weights are down for the next one. Moving into an opposite knee to elbow. Feet are shoulder width apart. Hands are on our head. Bring that opposite knee to your elbow and crunch. Now you might not be able to get your knee all the way up to touch your elbow, and that's all right. That's right. We just encourage you to do your best. Do the best that you can, guys. You might be moving at half our pace or double our pace. Either one is totally cool as long as you're pushing yourself. Whew. Remember, no matter what, you're still lapping everybody on the couch. Come on, let's go. Put it out there, guys. Hot feet, hot feet, come on. Breathe. Remember what brought you here today. What is it? In five, four, three, two, one, break. All right, we're gonna need those hand weights for the next one. We're gonna do a high punch out plus run in place. So hot feet, slight bend in those knees, return those hands to your chin, and then punch up nice and high. Gonna burn those shoulders out on this one. Ooh. Come on, moving those feet too. Keep it going, keep it going. Let's go guys, how fast can you go? That's it. And if you need to, you can set those hand weights down. But just keep moving. Come on. What do you got? What do you got? Keep Ooh. it up. Keep it up. Don't stop. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, hand, or hand weights are down for the next one. Feet are shoulders apart. I'm going to throw my weight back on my hips, bend it at my knees, and then I'm going to jump and reach. And I am doing a squat. So Claudia's is more low impact move. They're both going to burn out the, our lower body on this one. That's right. You decide which one is appropriate for you. Either way, first bend at those hips and then bend at the knees. It's like you're sitting down in a seat. That's right. Big power, everything you got. Put it all out there. 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds. Come on. It's all mental. You can do this all day. When your okay. legs get Five, tired, run with your heart. Four, three, two, one, break. Ah, that's it. Woo! We made it, you Man. made it. I'm actually sweating today, look at that. Ah, and I am dripping. Woo. Big old pile of sweat in front of me. Well, once I catch my breath, I'm gonna move into a cool down here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a scarecrow plus a toe touch. Feet are shoulder width apart. Going those arms up overhead, pull down on those elbows. And you get to the down, go ahead and reach through your toes, big stretch. Come on up with those arms straight, slowly. Slowly, sorry, I didn't go that slow. And then back down with the elbows. Just repeat this one, moving slowly. This again is a cool down move. The work is done. You made it. Be proud. That's right. We're proud of you. Take a second just to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. Even, doesn't matter how the rest of your day goes, no matter what, you got this one done. Excellent. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings, lower back and glutes. Come on up, bring those hips forward and pull down 
on those elbows. And if you can't quite touch your toes, just reach down as best as you can or as far as you can. That's it. Getting a little bit better every time. All right, last one. Big little stretch. Come on up. Slowly. And relax. Okay, we're gonna need a wall, a counter, a chair, something for this next, and we're gonna do a, a wall calf stretch. Just gonna place your hands on the wall, one foot up close to the wall, one leg back. Now that leg that's back, we're gonna drive that heel to the ground and lean forward. Feel that stretch in that calf. If you don't quite feel that stretch, go ahead and put that leg back a little further and get more of a stretch. You decide how far back it is for you to feel a good stretch. Any of these static stretches, we're just getting to a point where it gets about 85, 90% of what you're capable of. Let's switch sides in three, two, one. Opposite side. Ooh, left side's tighter. Oh, she's feeling it over on the left side. Yep. And as we mentioned before, totally normal and expected to have one side be a little tighter than the other. All depends on your environment and your day to day. Just keep that heel to the ground as you stretch forward. Big deep breaths for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Stand up. All right, we did a lot of work on those thighs and quads today. We did. Let's get a little stretch going before we stop. We're gonna do a standing quad stretch. One, I'm gonna, we're gonna both do it from a standing position, but you can also hold on to a wall or a chair if you need to. So grabbing back on that one foot, pulling it to your glute, lifting up with that opposite side arm. Trying your best to keep your knee in and not out and flared out to the side. And we're just gonna hold. That's the whole thing right there. Again, pulling that heel back to your glute and breathe. Excellent, guys. Keep it up. Let's hold this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Opposite side, right into it. Come on. Even more difficult to balance when your, your legs are done from that workout. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Ooh, I got it. And again, you see it's not about being perfect. We're just here putting in the work just like you guys. We appreciate your company working out with us today, Hesfit Tribe. Thank you. Pull them back. Feel that good stretch in your quadricep. Just hold. Like I said, if you need to, feel free to grab onto something. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh, and that's it. Thank you so much. You made it. You made it. You made it, Coach. Thank you for working out with us today. If you enjoyed this workout and you've been working out with us for a while, we'd encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this routine today with us, we ask that you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts just like this one, our free meal plans and our free complete fitness program. And if you are on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter, come find HasFit, connect with us because we want to connect with you. Again, thank you so much for joining us. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.